In 2002, something rather remarkable happened in Dubuque. A few visionary citizens and four local businesses came together to dream of something big. A vehicle that would meet the critical needs of the community like never before, linking donors to causes that could really make a difference, making grant opportunities possible where they didn't exist before, and catalyzing system-wide change to lead our communities into the future. The Diamond Joe American Trust, Dubuque Bank and Trust, and Medical Associates Together, they provided the initial investment that were the roots of the organization that would become the Community Foundation. And my, how things have grown. We were one of the founding sponsors of the Community Foundation, and we were excited, ambitious, eager to see what the Community Foundation could do. But even in our own minds, we never dreamed of the success that they've achieved over the last 10 years. It's really been, been great. Once we got settled with the idea that maybe something like this would work in the, in the Dubuque community, it uh, became apparent that funding was necessary to at least get the seed money in. And you know, we thought it was important enough for our organization to be in that role, and, and others did as well. And so, uh, and then, then came the great leadership. I remember in October of 2002, um, the board launched this idea, and I knew right then I wanted to be the executive director and we opened the doors February 1st of 2003, um, literally with a office space and a desk and a chair. But it didn't take long for things to take off as hundreds of volunteers rallied to the cause. And now, just 10 short years later, the Community Foundation supports over 140 nonprofits and has grown to well over $30 million. When we started in 2002, when the other community foundations came and helped us kick off, they all talked about how they went from nothing to $10 million in 10 years, or $12 million. For the foundation to grow from $0 to $34 million in 10 years is extraordinary. It's a, an example of the philanthropic spirit within our community. Dubuque is a remarkably charitable community, and I think that's displayed every day. The needs will never diminish. Uh, in fact, they will continue to accelerate. Thank goodness we have the Community Foundation there to help us fulfill part of those needs. One of the most striking examples of Community Foundation success is the Crescent Community Health Center. That really started with Envision 2010, where we helped bring those 10 ideas to the forefront, and one of those was a community health center. So we worked with Crescent Electric family, the Schmids, the Rombergs, the Pekinbrocks, and brought together a wonderful endowment gift that really was the kickstart for the community health center, which now is a wonderful facility. It serves over 500 medical and 500 dental patients a month, people who would not have quality health care without the center. Other major initiatives like Dubuque 2.0, Every Child, Every Promise, Project Hope, the Women's Giving Circle, and many, many others, all directly supported by the Community Foundation. It's the joy of giving. You make a difference for people, and you make a difference in their lives, in their organizations. In the years of its existence, the Community Foundation has done a lot of great projects. It has strong leadership, a great sense of commitment, they understand the giving process. They're responsible in their trust keeping, and that was the organization we want to partner with. When recent floods ravaged local homes and families, the Community Foundation was there to help. Well, it's really been people that's made all of this happen, and I think the tri-state area, the Northeast Iowa area, Dubuque, Iowa, is probably the luckiest place on earth because people are so generous and have given so generously of not only their dollars but their, their time and their talents really to make great things happen in our community. I think a lot of people think that the Community Foundation is just a vehicle for philanthropy and actually we have a much broader mission than that. We are certainly a vehicle for philanthropy and love to work with donors to connect them to causes where they can really make a difference. But we're also a grant maker. We do a incredible amount of grant making in the community. We also have a role as a community leader where we're a convener and a catalyst, where we bring people together to impact our community and bring about systems change. 
and the partnerships that we have today, I never envisioned in 2002. It's gone way beyond the initial vision, and that's the beauty of it, is that now we are, we're the go-to place. If, if you have charitable needs, the Community Foundation is the go-to place. To me, at my age, uh, it is the most fulfilling thing I've ever done in my life. Just give, in fact, just give until it feels good. And you'll never get it back in the way you think you will. It'll come back in other ways. What you talk about getting bang for your buck, give it away and see what happens. We have big plans. We've just adopted a new strategic plan and we have three priority areas that we're gonna focus on. We are going to work on creating that vibrant culture securing those thriving families and strengthening our nonprofits. We all plan to be at over 100 million within the next 10 years and doing great work in grant making and community leadership and certainly giving folks an opportunity to give back to their community in a way that they know is going to have a strong impact. So hold on to your hat and here we go and jump on board with us. The Community Foundation, celebrating 10 years of giving and growing a greater community.